What's going on everybody, it's Real YGO, and it looks like the cult lamb sacrifice worked because we've gotten more dinosaur support coming out of Duelist Nexus, I think it's called, yeah. So uh, Duelist Nexus is the next core set after um, Cyberstorm Access, and this is the second thing of support I think we've gotten from this set. And it's actually really cool to see more dinosaur stuff because the Transcendrake archetype, or archetype I guess you could call it, there's only one actually named Transcendrake. Uh, it's actually a really interesting strategy that really supports Dinosaur, and they only got a few amount of cards compared to the other archetypes in the set. So it's cool to see that the, we're basically just getting the rest of it in here, which I mean, I kind of wish we would have gotten in just one set, but as much as we can get Dinosaur support, I'm going to be content. But uh, so all of these, I believe, are uh, like also based off the older stuff. So like I said, they're basically part of the Transcendric stuff as well. Uh, we got like, a, I think a two-headed King Rex uh, retrain or something like that. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna, I'm really excited. I, I'm sorry I'm stuttering a lot. I'm just really excited. But yeah, starting off here, we do in fact have a Twin-Headed King Rex here. We have King Rex the Twin-Headed Dragon. Okay. It's a level 6 Earth Dinosaur with 1600 attack and 1200 defense. And you can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. And you can only use this card's name second effect once per turn. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. This is an inherent summon. And if this card is normal or special summon, you can target one monster on the field with attack lower than the total attack of all dinosaur monsters you control and destroy it. Hmm. So, this is actually not that bad. I mean, going second is going to be a really good tool, especially because this is an Earth, so it works really well with Lithosagum. And so just getting a free special by controlling no monsters, uh, you can get a nice 1600 or less pop. Oh no, 1500 or less pop because uh, 1600, it can't be equal, it has to be lower. I do wish it kind of said only dinos instead of no monsters because then you could pop your own baby and stuff like that. But I mean, whatever, I guess. To be fair, I think the main idea with this is to give them like a Lost World token or something and then you special this, attempt to pop the token and then uh, use the effect. But at that point, you already have a board established so you can't really do much with that. Uh, so this is fine for going second, it's probably not that bad, it's a free extender, but the overall second effect, I wish it would have paired a little bit better with the first effect. It is a level 6 though for the Xyz plays for the new Transcendric stuff. Next up is the bigger retrain, King Rex the Dragon King. So this is a level 9 Earth Dinosaur effect monster, Oh, if only we saw VFD, uh, with 3200 attack and 1200 defense. When this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can make this card gain a second attack during this battle phase, and once per turn, except the turn this card was summoned, you can target up to two monsters your opponent controls and destroy them. Uh, I mean, honestly, if it didn't have the accept the turn this card was summoned clause, I'd be tempted to say this would be a really good pill target, but, like, why? I mean, maybe if it was a quick effect, if it was a quick effect to pop, that would be, like, really badass, but, I mean... Other than that, it's like, why would you go for this over UCT? UCT's bigger, it can attack everything, it's got a, arguably a better level when it comes to making plays because you can at least go Gustav or something. I'm not gonna lie, this feels kind of like the Age of Superconductor Tyranno. Okay, so this one, this one I'm really excited for. This is Grenosaurus, the Magic Head Cannon, and by that I mean my Super Laser Piss! Oh my god, look at this artwork, bro, it's so funny. They turned Grenosaurus into a fucking cannon. So this is a rank 4 dinosaur exceeds uh, with, it's also a fire by the way, like the Evolzars, with 2200 attack and 2000 defense. It requires 2 level 4 monsters, and you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. When your dinosaur monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can attach a material from this card and inflict 1000 damage to your opponent, then this card gains 1000 attack. And if this exceeds summon card is destroyed, you can target one card in the field, destroy it, and if you do, inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. So honestly, this card seems really cool because the first effect isn't a hard once per turn. However, I'm seeing very little reason, unless you don't have Pentastag live, I'm seeing very little reason to go into this over just making a Dugaris. I mean, really cool retrain. I love the artwork. I love that Grenosaurus is getting more love. And again, like this could be really good for time and such, but again, this feels like a card that does what UCT already does, but significantly worse. Though I guess I do like that you can burn them for like up to 3k per turn and then, or not per turn, but in one turn and then make it go up to like 4200 attack as well. That's pretty neat, but I feel like it's kind of unnecessary. Though honestly, I won't diss you for playing it because to be fair, you can wipe the board with Tyranno and do like a bunch of burn and then you can use Granosaurus to go up to like 4200 and then poke for game after doing 2000. Yeah, okay, actually now that I think about it, this isn't that bad. Okay, so it's actually pretty good for OTKing because you don't need to go for the Dugaris and the Pentastag. You can just overlay for the Granosaurus and all your opponent needs to have, I think is, I think just two monsters. Yeah, they only have to have two monsters. They can be in defense. You burn for 2k with Tyranno and, oh no, never mind. So it won't work with the Tyranno burn. 
So you'll, you'll just have to punch them normally. So they'll need like more monsters. That'll be... So you'll do 42 with this. And you'll do 62 total by the burn. So they need to have at least 1800 points of damage, I believe. So that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Not to mention that during main phase 2, you can use something like a diagram. If you solve Lithosagums in deck, you can just pop this, search the Lithosagum, and then burn for the extra thousand. Alright, so this might earn a spot in the extra deck as a one of. Next up is the new continuous spell card, Jurassic Power. So you can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. Dinosaur monsters you control gain 300 attack. You can normal summon level 5 or higher dinosaur monsters without tributing. And you can send a dinosaur monster from your hand or face a field of the graveyard. Add a dinosaur monster with 1200 defense from your deck to your hand. Alright, so ignoring the first two effects because this is just kind of, and considering Lost World's kind of just better, uh, this doesn't really apply much except for like, I don't know, Pancratops. Uh, you'd rather normal summon Ovi or something no matter what dino build you're playing. And for the third effect, I'm going to go over all the targets you can search. Crawling Dragon number two. Uh, and two-headed King Rex, so I'm pretty sure that's why, um, the King Rex Dragon thing was- I'm pretty sure it's a combination of Crawling Dragon and, uh, two-headed King Rex. You can search Dogaron, so that's actually not terrible. Doodle Beast Tyranno, Giant Rex, Re-EX, the- the extra monster zone thing. Samurai Cavalry of Reptier, Jurek Protops, Hyper Hammerhead, Element Saurus, Mad Sword Beast, and Jurek Monolith. So, uh, basically, or Monoloth, sorry, not Monolith. Uh, your best targets are Tyranno and Dogeron with the very rare Giant Rex search. I thought this would be able to search the, um, the Xenometeoros, but it just doesn't. Uh, I'm pretty sure it searches these, right? Yeah, it searches these two, but... Eh, I mean, honestly, if it destroyed a dinosaur from your hand or face of field, that would be significantly better, and you'd probably play this at at least two or three. But as it stands, I mean, it's just a worse fossil dig. Oh, it actually tells you directly below what it searches. I had EDO Pro open. <laughs> and then finally, yes, so I was right. This is a new evolution pill. This is Transcendental Evolution Pill Beta. It's a normal spell that you can only activate one of per turn. You tribute two monsters from your hand and or field, including at least one dinosaur monster. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, except dragon, dinosaur, sea serpent, and worm monsters. Also, special summon one level 5 or higher dinosaur monster from your deck or extra deck with attack higher than the tributed monster's total attack. Is that it? Alright, so let's go over some of the best targets for this. For fusions, you have the new Transcendric Gigantozowler, because we're, we're ignoring the main deck, by the way, because it doesn't say ignoring summoning conditions, so it makes it, like, immediately bad for things like Tyranno. You can summon Gigantozowler, and it gets a Recover, and then, um, if it's destroyed, does the normal monster stuff. You can actually summon Dinomorphia Rexterm, that's actually kind of funny. And honestly, I might play this just for the Rexterm. Uh, you can summon, let's see, you can summon the other Dinomorphias too, but I mean, like, they're kind of useless with, uh, compared to Rexterm at least. You can summon Transcendric Glaciosaurus, which I don't really think is that amazing. Um, ah, it's not treated as a proper summon. I was gonna say you can summon Jurak Meteor and Nuka the board. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so overall, other than a funny play with, um, the Rexterm, or even, I guess, going for Giganto's ally because it's really big, I'm kind of disappointed in this card. I saw a new artwork that looked like an evolution pill, and I was really excited, but I mean, like, eh? Like, yeah, again, it summons something like Pankratops or whatever, but you're already using, like, resources off your regular evolution pill and everything, and this requires you to tribute. It doesn't even destroy or anything or banish, so it doesn't give you any advantage off of that. Uh, kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. But with that being said, what do I think about this new support? Honestly, compared to the other Transcendric stuff, and by the other Transcendric stuff, I mean specifically Meteoros and Ground Zeno, I am kind of disappointed. So, this one is a fine extender. It's an additional dinosaur body, I guess. Like, you just won't be really worrying about the second effect, though. Uh, this is just... This is kind of worthless, not gonna lie. Like, why would you ever go for this other than, like, instead of UCT unless you're normal summoning it with Jurassic Power Up? Granosaurus is fine. I think this card's actually playable. This might be the one of the only things out of this uh, wave played, at least for me. Um, everyone else is gonna tell me in the comments how stupid I am and how broken these cards are, but I mean, like, this one's pretty cool for going for OTKs and stuff with uh, Tyranno. Jurassic Power just feels like a, a weaker fossil dig. If it could search um, Xenometeoros and stuff like that, or like it'd be a little bit better, but eh, as it currently stands, it's like, why would you just play? Why would you play this? You already have fossil dig. And then this can be funny again 
uh, this does, this can be search off Arcasaur, by the way. It can be search off Arcasaur or uh, Coatlas, and you can summon Dinomorphia Rexterm if you want an additional piece of Floodgate on your end board. So this is one of the better ones out of the um, the cards, but when it comes to actually summoning from the main deck, I wouldn't really recommend it. What does the other Transcendrate guy do again? Um, the big one that I'm not going to play. Transcendric Meteoros, my special summon by card effect. You can destroy two of the monsters you control or hand your hand if you special from ham. If it's special summon, you can send a dino from deck to grave. If it's destroyed, you can shuffle a normal monster from the grave into the deck and you special summon this card. Okay, so I guess the best use for this card, you use the Evolution Pill Beta, summon the Meteoros, and then use uh, Meteoros to dump the Coatlas to search your regular double Evo pill. But I mean, at that point, you have to play the Coatlas, and I know a lot of builds aren't playing Coatlas because it's just kind of eh. I don't know, I think a lot of the new Transcendric stuff, I, I like the concept of it, but like, if they're really trying to force you to play the normal monsters, it's like, it's not really doing that great of a job, because I don't really want to brick on normal monsters in a deck that already, without three misc, is kind of bricky. I mean, to be fair, we're going to get three misc, or at least two misc, and then three misc off of the support, but, I mean, still, I don't want to wait that long. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, I feel like this might see a little bit of play, maybe Granosaurus, uh, and then Evo Pill Beta. Maybe some Mad Lad's going to find some really good use for Jurassic Power, other than Dogeron. I mean, searching Dogeron isn't that bad. Okay, never mind. I was going to say you can do it against Castro, but it, says, it sends for cost instead of discarding, because you can send from field as well, kind of cringe. Uh, and then maybe we'll see, like, King Rex as, like, a, a one-of or something, I don't know. Uh, but other than that, I feel like they aren't going to see too much play, like I said, just maybe a couple here and there. But I don't know, that's just my opinion, let me know yourself in the comments below, because that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, please sure to leave a like, as I'll put this video and the channel into your recommended. And if you like this content, we'll see more like it, like the rest of my review series, I try to review every new archetype and every way of support that comes out. Then perhaps consider subscribing, because we're on our way to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2023, not to mention it supports the channel more than anything else, and it's absolutely free. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Aurora, signing off.